What is happening everybody? It's Ha. Welcome again to the Amateur Paleo Cook. And today we're making a very hearty and savory dish, perfect for this time of year in New England. Let's do paleo enchiladas. Now, this dish will be a bit involved, but I love a great challenge, so let's get going. All right, folks, so start things off, we'll have two pounds of ground bison. Now, bison is a leaner cut of red meat compared to beef and looked pretty interesting. And also, bison is completely organic and they are grass-fed. All right, so moving on, we have two cups of beef broth, and this is the Swanson brand with 50% less sodium. Next, we have two cans of tomato puree, and this brand is Contadina. We have two cans of that, or four cups, approximately. Then we have one chopped up whole onion, and for our tearless onion video, refer to the link above. Then we have the four cloves of garlic, all minced up. Next is our half a can of chopped green chilies. Okay. Then onto our spices, we have four tablespoons of chili powder. On the left, in the middle, we have one tablespoon of oregano, followed by one tablespoon of cumin on the right. Then we have six tablespoons of this beautiful avocado oil. And then the eggs. Now the eggs, egg whites, in particular will act as the tortillas for enchiladas and you need about six to eight eggs to get the egg whites then to top everything off we have about half a cup of chopped up cilantro all right so everything looks great let's get going okay everyone so now the first thing we're going to do is in our big pot right here we're going to make the sauce and the first step to that is to add two tablespoons of our avocado oil and I have already turned the heat to high. All right, and then we're gonna saute the onions right here. Plus our minced up garlic. Okay, so all that goes in. And then we just let it cook for roughly 10 minutes or until the garlic has become soft and the onion are translucent. Okay, and next we're gonna add all the spices. So stay with us. Okay, welcome back everybody. So the onion and garlic mixture is cooking up great. Next, we're gonna be adding in uh, all of our other spices to this sauce. So starting off with two cups of beef broth. All right, and then plus the four tablespoons of chili powder, that goes in. One tablespoon of our cumin. One tablespoon of oregano. All right, so all of that goes in. Then we have our chopped up green chilies, the half a cup of that roughly, and just add that in. followed by four cups of the tomato puree. Boy, the colors are absolutely fabulous. Okay, four cups of that. So all that goes in, stir it around. Now we're gonna let this sauce cook for about 20 minutes on high okay now while that's going for the sauce we're going to prepare our meat which is the mixed up uh, the ground up bison so for that we first uh, in move on over here in our enamel cast iron pot we'll be adding in two tablespoons of avocado oil and I have already turned up the heat to high for this 
area as well. Okay, and then we're gonna add our bison, which I have removed from the package, two pounds of that. So all of that goes in. All right, now we're gonna let this brown for about 10 minutes or so, and then next we'll add some of the sauce into the bison mixture. Okay, so stay tuned. All right, now we're back. Uh, the meat has been cooking wonderfully here. As just a little peek here. The bison looks great. Uh, the sauce is also boiling up, which is excellent. Now, what we want to do is add approximately half of the sauce. So into our meat mixture. All right, so just lay it over. Or until all the beef has been covered. I mean, other bison, excuse me. They look so similar. <laughs> so we are nearly there. If you have a bigger ladle, definitely use that. But I do not, unfortunately. By the way, it smells just absolutely wonderful right now. It's like I'm just in a Mexican restaurant kitchen. It's absolutely amazing. So we are nearly done. All right, that looks good. So we'll mix everything up. All right. Now this bison will be used as the filling for our enchiladas, as you might have guessed. And then the rest of the sauce will go on top of the enchiladas. Okay. So while we have that going and the bison will be cooked in the sauce for next 10 or 15 minutes. All right, and the sauce by itself, it just goes right there. Still cooking. So next we're gonna make the tortillas. Now, this is uh, po possibly the most challenging part of this recipe. What we'll do is first in a small skillet such as this, all right? We'll add approximately a quarter of a tablespoon of our avocado oil. And let's turn the heat up. And we'll brush using a brush right here. We'll brush the all parts of the pan so that the oil is evenly distributed. Okay, that looks good. Now, I have removed the egg whites from the egg yolks right here. And what we want to do is, in this uh, non-stick skillet right here, we want to add approximately one eighth to about a quarter cup of the egg whites. All right, so just, yeah. want to have a very thin layer. And mix that around as such. Such as looks like that. Okay. And then we're gonna be covering this for one minute, let it cook. And then if everything comes out uh, as it should, then it should come out right, um, right away off the pan and onto a holding plate. And then those will act as a tortillas, all right? So I'm gonna make those and we'll be right back. All right, everyone, so we're now back and everything is all done. Now we're just gonna be assembling the enchiladas and we have our egg white tortillas as such right here. Now I did flip them, uh, the egg whites, just so that they can cook on both sides, all right? So we're gonna be filling in uh, each of the tortillas with about a big spoonful of the bison mixture or about a quarter of a cup right like this. All right, so just put it in the middle and then fold both sides of the tortilla like such. All right, and then we want to place them seam side down in the baking tray. Okay, so I've already begun the process and just put in the final one, like, like such. And now we have the entire eight tortillas enchiladas. They look absolutely amazing. 
And now we'll be ladling over all of the rest of the sauce, the non uh, bison one. So just gonna put that over the top of them. Be very generous with this. Um, no need to be shy. All right, and we have plenty of sauce to cover everything. So that is great. This gives a very good complement to one another with the meat mixture in the middle and then the, uh, the rest of the enchilada sauce on top. Okay, so right there looks great. And now I'm gonna turn up the heat in the oven to 350 degrees. And then we're gonna bake it for 15 to 20 minutes at that temperature. Once we're done, uh, we'll take it out and then top everything with the chopped up cilantro. All right, so stick with us, we'll be right back. Alrighty, so here is the final finished uh, baked dish of our paleo enchiladas. I have removed everything from the oven and topped it with some cilantro. Now, it looks absolutely out of this world. Um, and I cannot wait to taste it. So let's do it. All right, so here is the most exciting part of the day, which is tasting. And I have removed one of the enchiladas onto my uh, plate right here. And let's give it a go. Boy, I'm so excited for this. All right, let's get a piece of the enchilada, some cilantro, and all right, let's see. <laughs> Fellas, this right here is absolutely dynamite. The egg tortilla is cooked perfectly. The sauce with the with the bison is absolutely out of this world. And then the sauce on top with cilantro gives a great in and out punch right there. It is absolutely delicious. Definitely give it a try. I know it's challenging. Uh, this recipe took me a long time to make, but it's absolutely worth it. Uh, please give it a try and leave me some feedback. So that's everything for today. Um, this recipe took a while, but um, I'm so glad that I did this. Uh, it's been so much fun. The recipe is posted on my blog and the link is below. You can also follow me on Twitter. Uh, also, please, if you can, uh, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. That will be very much appreciated. Until next time, keep it simple and live paleo. And take care, everybody. Thank you.